Hello and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm going to uh, do a review of the uh, Nikon uh, ZFC uh, camera. Um, Nikon's latest addition to the mirrorless uh, Z series or C series as uh, some call it. Um, it's a 20.9 megapixel uh, camera uh, with a DX sensor, so it's got this crop factor of 1.5. Uh, and I bought it uh, in a um, kit with the 28mm uh, special edition um, 2.8 sorry uh, lens, uh, and it resembles um, kind of like some old school um, uh, lenses. Uh, it looks like it's a little bit like the old AI lenses, and 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 it's slightly like that, like like that, which uh, matches the um, the. Um, the camera, the layout of the camera uh, as well. Because I put in my order earlier, I got this nice uh, leather strap included and the back you saw in the, in the beginning. Um, so that's that's very nice, but that's not why I bought it. This is what I bought it for. So, And by the way, I don't know if I'm going to keep this strap because uh, you can't uh, take it off very easy uh, when you photograph on, on a tripod, which I do. So yeah, but I'll see uh, what happens, but, but I like it and I like the smell of this. Um, <laughs> Yeah, handmade leather strap, it's just nice, so we'll see about that. So, I'm not going to go too much into the, to the details of this uh, camera. Uh, I'll just take this plate off. Um, I'm just going to talk about the experience of shooting with it, um, a little bit about the um, image, images and uh, video I will show you uh, later on in this video. Uh, but there are a few things uh, that I, I will uh, talk about now, and that is the um, the way you handle this, or, or the way you, you, you dial in the settings. Because on top you have this um, ISO um, dial, you've got the shutter speed over here, uh, exposure comp compensation here, uh, and a little um, window up here which tells you the, um, the uh, actual uh, aperture. You cannot change the aperture uh, up here. You could do that if you use the old AI um, lenses, but they don't have um, autofocus, uh, autofocus built into them. If this 28mm uh, uh, SE should be um, totally bang on uh, for that, it should have an aperture ring uh, built in so you can do everything on the outside in, uh, without using these dials. But but yeah, well, that's okay. Uh, if you don't like to use those, you can just um, uh, change the camera in your menu system so you, you have the uh, aperture and, and, and shutter the way you're used to, to uh, having these things in, in digital cameras, but that's, that's up to you to decide. And of course the modes are over here, manual uh, uh, aperture and shutter priority and then the P mode. Um, and there is in fact also an auto mode on this one. The back of the camera looks just like any other uh, Nikon um, digital uh, camera, except for this uh, flip screen, which is fully articulating a uh, screen like this. But you could also choose to put it in like that and then just shoot like this, because then you're really into this uh, retro mode or, uh, or, or whatever you would uh, call it. On the older cameras, this is um, this button here is the um, um, down here, the timer, uh, I should say. Uh, in this uh, camera, it's a function button button you can uh, program to almost whatever you like to. Uh, so that's um, that's nice. Um, yeah, but I'll get back to that one uh, in, a, in in the end of this video. Uh, up here, you can set the uh, camera to either stills or video, and then the video uh, record button is this one, and this is the shutter button, and this is on and off. So. Nice big viewfinder, um, nice uh, screen on the back. Um, it's built in uh, magnesium alloy, this camera, but the weight is um, is very low, um, mainly because they've used some plastic parts uh, on top of that magnesium alloy. So it's like the the, the frame inside is um, magnesium alloy, and then uh, there's this plastic. There's some plastic in the bottom, but. I'm not too sure. I think this is, in fact, this still is magnesium, but this one is definitely plastic. And it's got a bit of a plastic feel to it, 
when you're sitting here and doing a review or, or, or talking about it in that sense, but, but once you're out shooting, you don't notice that. Um, so I'm fully uh, satisfied with that, and I'm happy that this uh, camera will um, will be able to take a, a beat. And um, yeah, so that's okay. Battery and uh, SD card, only one card slot. Um, yeah, so that's it. It shoots uh, 4K and it shoots uh, some slow-mo in uh, 1080 and stuff like that. All those specs, you can go check them out for yourself because I'm not going to go into that. And I know there's uh, going to be a ton of people out there talking about that. But I haven't heard many people saying that they don't love the looks of this camera. It's, it's, it's a cool camera uh, to look at and it's very nice to use. I like this tactile stuff up here because I'm shoot, I shoot uh, film as well on my Nikon FE. Um, so yeah, but what I'll do now is I'm going to uh, put on a small video uh, showing me uh, shooting some uh, pictures um, on the outside, some landscape photography, uh, and then uh, also there'll be some other tests, some of the first images I've shot. But I have to say this, that it's only um, the ones where I made the movie out there uh, that are shot in RAW, the rest are shot in, uh, in JPEG because there was no, um, at that time, there was no um, support for uh, RAW from this camera in Adobe's product products. Uh, so I chose just to do, shoot JPEGs, which I regret now because it would, would have not been nice to have some RAW files to, um, to edit uh, to this. But the ones from the landscape and the panel and stuff like that, um, which will be in another video, will be the ones that are shot in RAW and edited in RAW and stitched together. Um, with the raw images and so on. So, take a look at that. So I'm uh, on my way to work, but I just thought I'd uh, make a short stop out here and uh, do a little bit of testing with this uh, ZFC camera that I recently uh, purchased. Um, pardon for the brakes, there's a lot of cars here. I'm just beside the road and uh, I've got this nice view out here. I'll show you in just a second. Uh, ZFC is... Um, well, that's the camera today, and I only brought the uh, kit lens uh, 16 to 50 and the 50 to 250. I don't know which one I'm going to use uh, right now. I'm going to have a look at the composition uh, and uh, and see what what's possible. But I'll just turn the camera around and show you what I'm looking at. So as you can see here, uh, there's this um, road on the right side of the. Uh, of the frame uh, over here and then uh, there's these lines in, uh, in this uh, field here so if I zoom in a bit you can see that all this there's another car all this leads in towards that lake down there so this is just a nice view that I enjoy and with those two beautiful clouds up there I'm going to see if I can uh, make something out of it uh, out of this I might do um, since this is only a 24, oh sorry, 21 megapixel camera, I might just uh, zoom in a bit more and maybe even put on the longer lens uh, and make this into a pano. I might stitch up to, I think, maybe either three or six images could be stitched together here to, um, to make a photograph of the, whole, uh, of the whole scene. So, yeah, I'll just uh, start shooting and then uh, we'll see what happens.
that's it. I hope you enjoyed those uh, images. Um, I'm going to talk about the um, my overall assessment of this camera now. Uh, and in the end of this, I will show you some other uh, image images and, and some time lapse. But let's let's get back to that in a minute. Um, just for the fun of it, <clears throat> this is the uh, Nikon FE. This is designed after the Nikon FM, but the FE is quite close to that. Uh, and as you can see, there are some similarities similarities in terms of where the buttons are placed. And uh, and uh, yeah, so it looks. Yeah, and the leather wrap and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's quite fun to see. And uh, this camera is in fact heavier. Um, they weren't able to at that time to build it with these light materials. Um, but um, yeah, fun to see the difference between those two. Now, let's talk about this. The things that I like about this camera is the um, the form factor. This retro design, uh, button layout uh, on the back and on the top of the camera. Um, I like, uh, well, let's not talk about the lenses because there's so many, but <clears throat> I like the, the articulating screen is, uh, is nice. I really enjoy that for, for doing um, videos uh, outside and having an, an opportunity to see myself. I didn't have that before um, because the other cameras that I've used have so I had this flip screen which you can just tilt it but you can't turn it. Um, nice viewfinder, nice um, yeah well there's not much to say about that. The menu system is uh, Nikon's menu system as the, the ones pro people are probably used to and I find it very easy to use. Um, and the dials on top is just I just like that. Uh, it's just much easier to, yeah, that's it, that's it. And you have these and these settings. Um, the dedicated record button for video is, is great as well. And um, yeah, there's not a lot to say about the economics. The images I, I like, uh, I'm, I gotta be honest with you, I'm quite surprised about the um, image quality. It's the same sensor as in the set 50, I believe. Uh, this 20.1 megapixel or 21 megapixel, whatever you want to say about that. Um, and if you're going to do any uh, larger prints or something um, from, like for instance, a landscapes, uh, landscape photography, it's easy to just stitch it together in uh, in Adobe Lightroom. I used Lightroom for that the large panel you saw, and uh, it was easy peasy. And that's because I think one of the reasons is that the file sizes are not that big because it's a, a 20, 21 megapixel camera uh, instead of these uh, uh, 48 that I'm used to working with. Um, but of course you have to use more of them to get a, a really uh, huge print. But um, but for that, um, if you're going to use print or, or make prints of something a nice uh, big landscape, uh, it's the, in my opinion, it's the per perfect camera for this. Uh, the resolution is uh, great, the details are great, um, yeah, the color science and, and all that is, this, this, I can't say anything bad about this and um, I did have my doubts, I was, it, <laughs> I was a bit on a limb when I, when I bought this but I'm, I'm totally satisfied with it. Uh, yes, I sometimes miss the <clears throat> economics of the, the big grip on the set 6, 7 and all that. But I don't shoot those, I don't shoot weddings anymore. I don't shoot uh, events, uh, at least not large events and not large weddings. I just do the small stuff and this is totally adequate for me. <clears throat> and uh, the ergonomics is, is just nice. But there are two things. <clears throat> I talked about this plastic uh, stuff here. Um, there are two things that, that I, I don't know. I don't quite know if I'm what to say about this, but but that this battery door being plastic or whatever it is, it seems like something that will eventually break. Um, so that's really on the cheap side, um, and also this button down here, because there's a tendency for me, at least when I take up pick up the camera, I kind of. Uh, I'm, I touch this button all the time 
and then I'm in this case going into the white white buttock setting. So I have to remember to move my hand over like this. And if I do like this, everything's fine. But when I grab the camera and do like this, it's just not very well placed. So I'm considering taking it out of the equation and just letting it uh, have no function at all. But that's maybe that's just me and my hands, and um, maybe it's not a problem for you. Apart from that, I can't say anything negative, negative about this camera. Uh, and in fact, um, what came to me as a surprise was the um, lifetime of this battery. Uh, it did in fact come with a spare battery in this pre-order pack. It's a very small battery um, and it's supposed to only shoot about, I think, 300 still images. But I just made another time lapse. I'm not going to show you that, but I made another time lapse where I shot 1500 uh, pictures in this and I didn't even use half of the battery. So I don't quite know what that's about. <clears throat> um, agreed, I don't use the, uh, I didn't use the flip screen for that. Um, so maybe that saves some, uh, some battery. Um, but still, I'm not too sure about it. And this whole uh, sequence that I'm going to show you in a minute, which con consists of I think three, three or four <coughs> time lapses, some video and some stills, and also some footage and images that are not in that, um, was shot on, on just half a battery. So this battery lasts a lot longer than uh, Nikon is uh, saying. So that's just a pleasant surprise for me. Apart from that, I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, <coughs> if there's anything you want to have me go into specifics about uh, with this camera please be free to to tell me in the comments below and uh, like subscribe comment of course as i just said and i'm going to show you a combined time lapse video just a little piece showing the summer in the harbor of elsinger so i hope you enjoyed this see you in the next one